I'm Derek. Uh, I'm Kev. I'm Steven. Um, this is IndieBuddy.com. I guess like the concept of the album is kind of just like, I don't know, like there's just a raw energy to it. It's just the way we recorded it, I guess. Um, where we were at the time when we recorded it, the lyrics, the energy. I don't know. We didn't. Yeah. We didn't put too much meaning onto it, you know. <coughs> you don't want to put too much meaning onto it. So I want other people to kind of read into it, what they want, and, and I'd like to hear what they actually think about it's it. Open yeah. to yeah. Interpretation. interpretations. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the, been a while. The original, the, like the main bunch of recordings that make up the album, were almost uh, three years ago at this stage. At the end of this month, it'll be three years ago, and then we've had like. One or two other kind of just small sessions on top of that, just for kind of like songs here and there. But yeah, the majority of it is from that those original recordings. Yeah, three years ago, pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> excited, excited. Yeah, we've kind of lived with it for so long now as well. That yeah, it's just excitement, yeah, really. To get it, we a lot of the songs, pretty much all the songs on the album, we've been playing live for a long time. So it's cool as we've kind of put out. Um, singles here and there it's kind of like people are like oh that's that one song I heard you know at a gig and I think it takes hearing a recorded version of a song to kind of like really get into it so it was cool seeing people there especially Dreamcatcher there was a lot of people kind of excited when we put out the, the recorded version of that mm. yeah. and yeah and there's I mean there's half of the tracks on the album people haven't heard at all really so uh, it'll be interesting to see what they think about those ones we always had the stems, uh, the, the kind of standout ones, <clears throat> I guess, like the bullet head, the loner, the dream catcher and stuff like that. Um, and I get, yeah, I get, it didn't take too, there wasn't too much fighting over it really, uh, definitely between the three of us anyway. I mean, we, um, we, had, we had some songs that we really liked kind of picked out and then we kind of got other people's opinions too and it's kind of, it's good to get the, someone like with an outside perspective on, on some of the songs then as well, because we're so attached. We're to all of the songs yeah. so it's kind of cool so you have to whittle it down that way as well and it made sense the kind of ones that we picked <coughs> it flows really nicely as well because that's something we kind of have to consider yeah we had messed bit. around with a few different how the album kind yeah. of flows yeah. um, we always thought like a song like loner and better to forget we were like that, they'll be good b-sides yeah, yeah they're not on the album but and then they're like really big hits mm. for us so <laughs> someone else is like that's my favorite song of all of yeah. them so you have to reconsider and yeah it's good and strange. Yeah. Um, because we've been sitting on for so long, we've been kind of yeah, and like and we I guess play them all because yeah, it, it, t playing them live, you kind of get that's kind of gi given us a good indication in both ways. Some songs we thought, oh, we should record this and add it on, or uh, we played another song and it got a better reception than we thought and stuff like that. So it's always a good kind of indication going forward. Because you're not comparing a debut album as well to anything else. There's not as much pressure on it. I think the second album may be a bit more pressure because you're... Yeah. If it is it as good or whatever as if as the debut album. So I think that there's a bit less kind of on that now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of good. Yeah. Ooh. Making your favourite child. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have... I guess I have certain songs um, that people haven't heard yet that I'm kind mm -hmm. of most excited to see the reaction to. Mm. Um, I don't know if I can pick a favorite as such. There's kind of, I guess, there's songs that I really enjoy playing live because there's a certain energy and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. I like Animal Skin. Yeah, it's just so different. It's different, like, yeah. Um, and then like live, like Role Models as well, is really fun live. Mm. It's probably my favorite. Um, I mean, they got us the like the greatest thing they got us was um, um the master. The mm. guy who mastered it, uh, John Davies, he's he's like legendary. And uh, when we got the master back of the album, it was just it blew, it blew us away. Like it was amazing. And then they've helped us with like music videos, music videos, and yeah, like making the <coughs> making the the music and the art and everything visual. And they've surrounded us with a great team of people as well. So mm. yeah, it's just kind of the same thing we were always doing, but up on another on another yeah. level, which is kind of. Which is cool. More, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> More cooks to spoil the broth. <laughs> That's just what happens, I think. Like mm -hmm. I, I love, um, like I'm a huge Nirvana fan. I love like melody, and I think once you put a melody into something, it doesn't matter how heavy the music is, the melody, the pop melody, is gonna basically make it a radio friendly yeah, song. That's like, the yeah. hook is like. Yeah. 
once it's got a hook in it and stuff. That's just what we sound like as well. Yeah, the, the radio. I don't know, radio, I don't know how to sound like anything else. Radio and even like trying to get a label to a certain extent was never on the cards. It was never a plan. Like, um, but I guess, yeah, as you said, the, the whole melody thing definitely helps it. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't say, I can't ever remember a time that we were like, oh, I hope, you know, we need to try and get this on the radio. I remember um, just being, when we recorded it, we just wanted every song to, <clears throat> like, to feel like something, you know, so the main aim was just that hopefully you feel something when you listen to each song, and you, maybe something different, but everybody can take away something different from it, every song. So. And our favourite yeah. albums as well, like yeah. Nevermind or The Colour and the Shape by the Foo Fighters. Yeah. They're those kind of albums that every song is like up there that there's no kind of yeah. real downtime. Yeah. So I, I think maybe subconsciously we kind of, uh, when we were choosing the track list and stuff like that, it was just kind of like bam, bam, bam. Try to, don't want to have any dits in it or anything like that. But yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, that mm. one, that track is kind of like... It's probably the oldest one we have. Yeah, yeah. And it's pretty. it's a pretty different song, I guess. It's like chops and changes into different types of songs and... I don't know, it was just, I, I don't know where it came from, it just kind of, it just out of nowhere kind of came and then I put it together pretty easily. I think like the first time we ever jammed it, it was pretty fully formed, it was a, it was a song. <coughs> Lyrically, it's just about, it's a, like a collage of different lyrics from different things, of like, you know, from my childhood or from like random things that, that I've like, like heard or seen or whatever, but um. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a bit of a, a collage of a song because that end part that completely Super intense. It's like a different song <laughs> yeah. at the end, basically. Yeah, but mm. it's yeah, it's like it's a, it's that emotional ride that you want as yeah, well yeah. in the song. So it's cool. I just yeah, that's um, I like that you you you've seen that now. That's great. Um, it was like the whole album is like this intense like energy of of, of an album, and then when you get to the end of it, it was that's pretty much exactly how I felt by the end of. Mm. when we were doing that song and it, it actually we did that song a long time after we'd done like tours and we were on the road constantly and we came back and I got a bit of time to go record this this animal so uh, animal skin song and I just felt wiped out I don't know what it was but I think that song is kind of subconsciously about being following that oblivion of chasing that kind of you know I want the oblivion you know it's like it's what I've wanted all my life or something like and then when you get it it's like i don't know that's that's what i kind of like I think we, had in my head anyway yeah we, we mm. felt as well that like i mean if you have if you think of another album you kind of have to build up to the crescendo or whatever whereas if we've kind of just been bam 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 it's like where do you go from the top so we're kind of like all right let's bring it down for the last one kind of type mm. thing yeah. and but i think we can't even when we record like that was I think it was this year like we recorded so really it was a recent one and it was with the intent of having some kind of closure to the album yeah. as soon as we yeah. recorded That's it a good way and that was actually it was such such an accident as well because I think we had played the song maybe twice before in a rehearsal and then we had some spare time at the end of a, a recording session we were doing and we were like well we need to record something we can't just like go home because we're paying for the studio time so let's try this one and I was, I was like I think I went through it twice and then someone was like alright that's it that's, yeah. that's enough drums there and then yeah. Yeah, it was, we, yeah it was very like it's a very simple song <coughs> and every other song is very like you know boom 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 and it changes and does this and it's fast and it's impactful and that one was just really simple like really really simple so it was yeah it was a a nice breather at the end a good night yeah. song yeah it's a closure song <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what we were thinking. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like the lead what on is, to the next. What thing. is to come next? Because it's kind of maybe we should start you, the next album with like the with that, the sounds, yeah. the end sounds. Of that. <laughs> yeah, if you hear our album, like, and you you'll know what kind of band we are within you know the first two songs. But then when you hear Animal Skin, maybe you might think there's something else to come. Like, so yeah. so hopefully, like, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. crazy like. Um, because yeah, even when we, like the first song, Bullet Head, that got picked up pretty quickly from um, Annie Mac and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, we'd hear stories about like how long it would take, you know, when people are trying to break through there. And then we're just like, what? Like, this is crazy, you know? And bands that we love, 
and stuff and um yeah no it's, it's pretty crazy like, like they've been really living in ireland you don't realize how tough it is to actually get on bbc radio one as well so it's only when you're kind of told about that as well yeah. you're blown away by how lucky we've been i suppose with yeah if that like yeah it, it kind of opened the doors it opened yeah. the floodgates for us really yeah <laughs> It kind of got us bookings and more gigs and tours and this and that. So mm. it really did kind of up the band a bit. And we never chased like that kind of stuff. But when it came, we were like, oh, you know, it was, it yeah. was crazy. Yeah. And we, like we were big, I used to collect Kerrang magazines and, and all that. Yeah. So to be in Kerrang was pretty amazing. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah just the videos on, on the Kerrang station. Like, so I remember, I don't know, like, yeah. When was it? First, second year spending summers just standing in front of the TV with a guitar trying to play along to any <laughs> song, and then it's just like your yeah. videos on there. It's like, this yeah. is crazy. Even yeah. like the crying radio have been really good to us as well. Mm. Like Johnny Doom and stuff, and Alex. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they've Baker. been really, really cool to us. Yeah, Alex Baker. It's all right. It's I'm not doing too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These, are, these, are, these are new kind yeah. of questions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it's fine. Like, um, like. Um, we're happy to be where we are. We're pretty grateful for where we are right now. So it's kind of good to be here and answering the question. If anyone's yeah. like yeah, interested enough to ask a question, we're happy enough to like <laughs> have a chat, you know. So it's <laughs> yeah. all good. Mm. <clears throat> there, yeah, there hasn't been too much of the same questions. Like it's it's no. uh, there. I, I guess maybe the first few it was always the introductory. Where did the name come from? But we seem to have gotten a little past that, which is good. Yeah. Okay surreal yeah <laughs> we're still kind of like i only feel normal today after, yeah. uh, <laughs> my neck still hurts actually yeah. <laughs> it was crazy it was really really good um yeah they the, couldn't yeah ask it to go any better yeah. really they're like our favorite band's favorite band yeah and uh i never thought I, I thought maybe i would get to see them hopefully live at some point but to play with them was uh another thing like that was mm -hmm. Pretty incredible, and they were they were amazing. They were they were amazing backstage as well. They were really nice. Really nice to us. It was um, such a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. It was one for one for the, yeah. the memory box. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to beat that. Like, because <laughs> the last stage we were told like Frank was at the side of the stage for three of our songs, and if we'd have been told that, we'd have all just froze up on stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just a good thing. <laughs> good thing yeah. we didn't like none of us just like yeah, took yeah, a yeah. sneak look over. <laughs> I think it's a pressure, it's more of a challenge really. It's just kind of like rose up for that challenge. So I think our live shows are always gonna be up and even if we're not making any money off it to make it better, <laughs> like we'll still do it. They're kind of spontaneous enough as well. Cause I mean, once there's an energy there and you can throw yourself <laughs> around the stage, it's always gonna be spontaneous and Yeah. Um so I yeah, I'd never go into it. That that would freak me out <clears> to go in and try to, you know, up the up the shows and stuff. Production wise, maybe. Yeah, that's what yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. When it comes to doing headline stuff and this, like our independence uh, festival, the show that we're gonna do this oh, year, okay. hopefully that's gonna be a big one. So I think yeah. Uh, yeah, as the opportunity to have a bigger show, like as the stages kind of get bigger and stuff, it kind of opens up more opportunity to do something bigger. Yeah, because um, we can kind of so like, visuals and stuff. Like even yeah, because we 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 played a good few uh, shows upstairs in Wheelands and then the one in was it February mm -hmm. that, uh, that you guys were at like that was like another opportunity then was opened up with the bigger stage and the bigger room to do something then so it was kind of just like building on top of it yeah. each time yeah, yeah. you know um, so yeah I kind of I get really excited by it because I kind of love like that kind of like showmanship kind of side of things yeah. and stuff and the real theatrical kind of classic rock and roll show and stuff like that so yeah. Any opportunity to do something closer to that is always yeah fun yeah. Just want to make people's ticket worth their money like so it's like the most the best show you can put on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like because we we've been to show like I've been to so many shows where like just stuff like that makes all the difference and you come out and you're mm. just head spinning and you're just you want to get go to the next one and that's what we want to do for people who come along to our shows yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. Ask this guy. Yeah, yeah. only he can answer that so far. <laughs> I'm gonna have a go sometime. Yeah. No. <laughs> Someday. It's uh, yeah, it's great. It's really fun. And I was like, I wasn't sure. I was like, you know, I wasn't sure if they would, if if people would like join and stuff. It was crazy. Well, that, was the most, that was most spontaneous as hell. Like, yeah, because yeah. we we planned to do the thing where Stephen goes into the crowd and plays from there, but. 
everything after that was not bad. Because even I was like, I keep playing, Ooh. this is amazing. Like, yeah, it was like these four or five kind of people just grabbed me and I was just like, all right, this has happened. <laughs> that was amazing. But it was just, it was amazing. Yeah, It was kind of like, I've seen so many of my favorite bands do that. So then when it happened uh, for us, it was really fun. So. A lot of blood playing live. I mean, we have the uh, gigs starting from next week, pretty much for yeah, the next the couple UK. of months. We're we're just playing, yeah, all over Ireland and the UK yeah. and Poland. We have a festival over there as well. That should be cool. And supporting Muse and Vicky Claro, In no, the, nothing but Thieves as well. That yeah, was last, yeah. That so it's kind of like we're kind of like back for three, four, five days, and then off again, kind of on and off of the yeah, yeah till currently, yeah. In a year, pretty much. Yeah, we've got like headline tours, Ireland, the UK, <coughs> to support the album. Um, so that's gonna bring us up to, for the rest of the year. Yeah. <laughs> for us, we can get that to like the week yeah. off. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's another. That's another crazy one. Yeah. I was just saying with the Pixies, it was like I didn't think about that till about two days. It's kind of like, because yeah, we're, there's so much kind of going on a, on a week to week basis that like we'll find out about something, you know, a month or so off or two months or whatever. It's like you get really excited about it then, but then you're like, okay, there's all this stuff happening in between now, and then you get caught up in that, and it's like, really, mm, right? Yeah, it's a week to go. Yeah, yeah. Get excited. <laughs> like, <laughs> like from not being, I wasn't nervous the entire day at Pixies. It was great, and then the next day I had a panic attack, just like, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> oh my god, but it was already over. So I don't know. <laughs> I blocked it out. Yeah, I I think we'll definitely be playing. Small, small rooms as as long as we can because it's as you said there's some energy and I think the music that we play lends itself to that title I mean there's gonna be bands who play the small venues but they're more suited to the bigger mm. level but yeah no, I I definitely I prefer that part in stadium where you can see everyone like yeah, yeah. staring at you and yeah. it gets weird and although I've recently seen uh, Royal Blood doing like a huge show and like they've they've become that band that can do that like, yeah. It their Glastonbury was incredible. performance yeah. was like that's when it was like they're just on another level. Yeah, like, they're they're someone amazing. If someone said like, imagine them as a headliner like a year ago. I would have been like, oh yeah, maybe, maybe. But after that, it's like no, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> they're cool. Yeah. They're, they're too cool. cool. Yeah. It's not fair. <laughs> They've like yeah. stolen all the cool. They're it's awesome. good with their songs are like they could easily just go back to a small club show though as well, or they, or they can do Glastonbury too. They can so do whatever they that's want. a really kind of. That says a lot about how good they are, I think, as a band, too, which yeah. is great. August 4th. <laughs> um, I don't know, yeah, like, a, so I just want to hear what people think about the album and, like, uh, yeah. what they read into it, with, you know, so. And keep checking out anybody. Keep <laughs> nice. checking out anybody. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>